In this video, we're going to walk through how to format a USB or a drive system and cover the three most common file structure systems. Stick around. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet today as much as I can, but give you guys some good information. Uh, about a year or so ago, released a video on how to install Windows 10, had some comments come in asking what format type or file structure type they should be using when formatting their drives. So we're going to answer that question on which one is best used for that scenario, but also take a look at the three most common file types that you're going to use when you're formatting your drives. We're going to take a look at what they're best used for and the pros and cons of each. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right in. Jumping right into this thing, there's a few different ways that you can access the format utility. You can open up a file explorer like this and right click on the drive in your list. If you don't see it, you're going to want to drop down this PC over here on the left hand side. Find your drive, right click on it, and then left click on format. This window will pop up here. The other option is to go down to your start menu, right click on it, and then left click on disk management. And this is gonna open up the disk management utility that you can go in and also find the drive. So if we scroll down here, find the drive, right click on it, and then left click on format. But just for uh, the simplicity of today's video, we're actually gonna be closing out of the disk management and just using the formatting option by right clicking on the drive here and then again going down to format. Once you've done that, this window is going to pop up here and it's kind of going to break this partition down into a few different segments. You've got capacity. So in this case, you've got 28.3 gigabytes total space. This is not your free space, but your total space file system. This is what we're mainly going to be talking about today because this matters depending on what you're going to be plugging either this drive or this flash drive, whatever kind of drive it is into different op operating systems or computers. So file system, you've got FAT32, which stands for File Allocation Table 32. This one is old, it was introduced back in 95, but it's got major compatibility across most operating systems. Most of them can read and write to this type of file system. Now the problem with this is you are limited to four gigabyte uh, file sizes. So if you have a, a 10 gigabyte um, file that you're wanting to send across, you're gonna have to break that down into three different transfers in order to get that over to the drive. It also does have eight terabyte partition size limitations. So if you have a 12 terabyte drive, you're either A, gonna have to use a different file system or B, you're gonna have to break that drive down into different partitions that are either eight or below in order to use that file type. The next one is NTFS or NT file system. This one is more or less native to Windows because Windows was built on NT. Mac OS can read it, but it can't write to it. You have limited compatibility across operating systems. However, there's no file size limit and there's no partition size limit. So if you're working with just Windows machines, NTFS is probably going to be your best file system. The next one is XFAT is extended file allocation table. This one is ideal for like flash drives, moving between operating systems. You do still have limited compatibility, but you have a little bit more flexibility than you do with NTFS. And there are no fi uh, file size limitations. So you're not uh, stuck to file transfer sizes. You're not stuck to limited partition size limits. And this one is working best if you're moving between Windows or Mac OS and you don't want any size limitations. Moving on, the allocation unit size is just the block size that the drive is gonna create in order to store that data. With drives becoming as big as they are and as fast as they are, you can usually leave this to the default allocation size and it will work just fine. If you want a little bit more detail on what allocation unit sizes do, I will leave a link in the description as well as a link about all of the different file systems so you can kind of go back and read and kind of recap on what we just talked about. So um, the we're just gonna leave this to the default size. And then this here, you can just go through and label whatever it is that you want. So we'll just say this is the test format drive. You can do a quick format where it's just gonna do a basically top level sweep, delete all the data on it and just do a quick format. Or you can uncheck this. It will take longer to do a format, but it's gonna do more of like a deep clean. Again, for today's demo, we're just gonna do a quick format and quick start. Warning, formatting will erase all data on this disk. To format the disk, click OK. To quit, click Cancel. If there are, is any data on this disk, you will want to make sure that is backed up if it's something that you wanna save. 
because again, formatting is, is erasing all of the data on it and basically creating a fresh drive. We'll click OK. We get a message saying format complete. You can click OK and then you can click close once again. And there you have it. Hopefully by this point of the video, I was able to help guide you in the direction that you need to go to format your specific drives. Anyways, that is going to wrap it up for this week's video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you liked it. You got something out of it. If you did, be sure to like, share, and of course, subscribe for more videos just like this. Here are a couple others that I think would go well with this video. So be sure to check those out and uh, we will see you on the next one. Peace. <gasps>